right now you are in the Studio Welcome screen. This is where you can create a translation project. With Studio you can translate the widest range of file types, including Office, PDFs, even if they are scanned, InDesign, HTML, XML and many more. I will show you how to translate a simple Word document. In the documents you can see formatting and structure such as bold, a table and bulleted lists. Studio maintains the formatting of your project file so you can focus on increasing the quality of your translations. Drag and drop a document or browse for your translation files. Today we are going to translate a single document. The next step is to set your language pair. Select the file source language and the language you wish to translate your file into. I'm going to translate from French into English. Then add an existing translation memory by clicking Use and selecting File Based Translation Memory. I will select a French to English TM and click Open. The translation memory I have selected contains translations from a previous project and will help me translate my current project faster. Or I can create a new translation memory. Click OK and you will now be moved to the editor view where you can begin translating your document. You will notice a grid. In the left-hand side, the text from the Word document I showed before has been extracted and split into sentences. Each of these sentences are referred to as a segment. The original text is known as the source segment, whilst where you will be translating is known as the target segment. Each segment has been given a number on the left-hand side. If you are working on a large project, this can be an important point of reference, bookmarking how far you have progressed in your translation project. I showed you bulleted lists, a table and footnotes in the source documents before. This structure has been handled by Studio to allow you to focus on translating. On the right hand side I can enter my translations. I will click into segment 1. You will notice the first sentence is already translated. This means I have translated this phrase before and it was saved to the translation memory added to my project. Simply press Ctrl and Enter to confirm it. Translations from my translation memory are shown in the Translation Results window. I can see here how similar the result from my translation memory is compared to the segments I'm currently translating. The changes I need to make are shown with track changes. In the second segment I receive a fuzzy match. This means I have translated something similar to this sentence before and it was saved to my translation memory. To complete the translation, I add the missing word. Once I am happy with the translation, I will confirm it to my translation memory by pressing Ctrl and Enter. The green check mark means it has been confirmed and added to my translation memory. Confirming to my translation memory means that I never have to translate this text again. The translation memory has stored and remembered the translation. Should I ever come across an identical or similar segment again in the current document or in a document I'm translating in the future, the translation memory will recall and automatically present the translation I have just confirmed. Remember, in order for this to work, your translation memory needs to be added to your project. A translation memory means my translations will be more consistent and I am more productive as I only need to translate the same sentence once. 
Autosuggest will provide a drop-down list of words and phrases from your translation memories, your term bases, and even from machine translation providers. As soon as you start typing, suggestions will appear, and as you continue to type, the list of suggested words continuously updates. Use the arrows or the mouse to select the correct suggestion, and then press the Tab or Enter key to add the word. Tell Me technology within the software allows you to type in a word or phrase, and Studio will suggest commands, settings, and options that you might want to access. I want to add a term base, so let's type in term base and click the suggestion Project Term Base Settings to be taken there directly. Adding a terminology database to your project helps to ensure correct terms are applied for more consistent and higher quality translations. I will press Use and then select an existing file-based multi-term term base. Or I can create a new term base. Press OK to open the term base and go back to the editor. If I go into the next segment, terminology suggestions will be visible. Terms are highlighted with a red bar above them, which tells me I have a match from my term base. If I start typing the term I want to insert, it will be suggested to me through Autosuggest. To add a term, select the term that you want to add in the Source and Target segments and click Quick Add New Term. The Term Base Viewer will appear, showing the new terms added and saved to your term base. If a segment is repeated at any other point in the document, Studio will automatically populate the segment with your translation. We call this auto-propagation. Let's take a look at this working. Segments 10 and 15 are the same. Let's translate segment 10, confirm it, and watch the translation appear in segment 15. Confirm the auto-propagated segment. This helps save time and increase the consistency of translation when an identical source segment reoccurs in the documents you are working on. The formatting in the source document included bold, italics and an icon. This formatting has been handled by Studio using tags to save you time and allow you to focus on translating and not working around and wasting time with tricky formatting. Let's now use Quick Place to apply formatting to the text in the target segment. Select the corresponding text where the formatting appears. Press Control and Comma at the same time, then select the matching formatting by pressing Tab or Enter. At any point during translation, I can generate a real-time preview of the document I am currently working on. I will press Preview and click to generate a view of how my translated document is looking. This gets updated as you type. You can also use Quick Place for numbers and dates. Press Control and Comma at the same time. Select the correct number and then press Tab or Enter. In my final segment, I have no match from my translation memory. In this scenario, I can use SDL Language Cloud Machine Translation to receive a translation result.
I can then post-edit the translation until I am happy and save this to my translation memory. We have now completed the translation, but before we save the translation, let's look at how to run a quality assurance check. Click on Project Settings. Select Verification, then choose the QA Checker. You can verify segments, inconsistencies, punctuation and more. When you're done, click on OK. You are now ready to verify the whole document. Simply press F8 to run a real-time verification. Any errors will be listed. Errors will also be highlighted directly in the segment. You can also correct any spelling mistakes by right-clicking on the words with the red underline. It is now time to save your translated document. To save the target file, click on File, then Save Target As. Rename the file to reflect the language, then click Save. My translated document is in its original format and I can see that all my formatting has been handled correctly. I hope you enjoyed this brief introduction to translating a document with the key features in SDL Trados Studio. Let's take a look back at the main areas in our translation tool. The current screen shows the Home tab in the Welcome view where you can easily drag and drop or browse for a file for translation. On the Get Started tab, you have access to various resources and video tutorials to help you get up and running with Studio. The More Resources tab brings you many useful links, such as to the online help system. You can also keep an eye on product and SDL updates on the latest news tab. Now let's go to the Projects view. The Projects view allows you to see and control all of the current translation projects that you are working on. Information such as status and due date is clearly displayed. The Files view shows all of the available files that are contained in the project, including the progress and status of each of the individual files. Moving to the Reports view, you can see an analysis of your projects. Here you can see detailed information on the current progress of your translations. The reports can be exported if needed. This is the translation editing environment. You can see that the translation memory results will appear at the top. Here is where you type your translation. Finally, we have the Translation Memories Maintenance view, where you can maintain, upgrade and edit your translation memories.